All right. Now to set the preload on the nut on the barons, uh, most people will tell you that it's 20 foot pounds or uh, like a tractor trailer, I think is like 200 or 250 foot pounds. Well, this, the tractor trailer barons are, you know, like this big. So uh, this is definitely not that. So you wanna keep turning that while you're tightening this. All right, and that gets everything seated in the right place. And 20 foot pounds is not very much. And you notice I'm just doing it with these pliers because I'm not, I'm not gonna strip this nut. That's pretty snug as far as me just pushing down. Okay, so now we turn it. Uh, some people will say 10 rotations, you know? So just pick a spot on the wheel that says something and go around 10 times. Uh, I think four or five times. You can go 10, you can go a dozen, whatever you want. And then check the nut again, right? If it's still just as tight, which it is, and you want to back it off. And then you bring it, it's loose. And you bring it back as tight as you can get it by finger. And that's that's where I go with it. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of the procedures, they say, uh, you back it, you tighten it 20 pounds, 20 foot pounds, and then you back off a quarter turn. So this would go all the way to here. 12 to 9 or take 3 to you know, bring it up to 12, whatever. That's, to me, that's really loose. And you can see that you can still turn this good. Um, and the hole is almost lined up right there. So that's, that's where I'm going to go with that pin. Pin goes down through there. Sometimes you got to argue with it because the pin might be semi-bent from being pulled out the last time which apparently it is so i'm gonna have to straighten that see how it's kitty wampus a little so just mess with it and it'll it'll eventually go down in there sometimes you gotta tap it We got a huge tapper here. Let's try this one. Oh, look at that huge tapper. See how it goes down in there? You know, it's not exactly the right thing to be hitting it with. There's a, is there a right tool for every job? Of course there is. <sighs> and the hammer that I'm going to get is a little big, but it's the one we're going to use. What do we got here? 24 ounce. We could probably go with an eight. So this one, a little over. And then just tap, tap, tap. Now I can't get onto that anymore. So we'll either turn it or move it, bend it, something. There we go. Let's try the prying. No, nope. back to hitting. There we go. Beautiful, okay. So now we're gonna bend those tabs towards us. You can go left or right, um, but for me, no, oh, I don't know what the heck I had you looking at, sorry. But for me, coming up and into that center gets you out of the way of the hub and that grease fitting right there. You have to be access to that grease fitting when the cap is on, right? When this is on. So now I'm going to put grease in while I turn it, okay? Let me get the grease gun, and this one's a little... 
Oh boy. Oh, I gotta get the battery. I left one of the batteries outside to this foolish thing. All this stuff was in the truck, but um, come on, there we go. One-handed operation. Um, there's an aftermarket battery I have like this, which is that one right there. And I had it setting like that and it rained last night. So guess who got drenched? And when I came out, it was full and it's lithium ion. So I think it's probably completely garbage, but I will let it dry out somewhere safe that it's not gonna start a fire wherever it may be. And then, uh... <sighs> okay, so this is, this is an Ingersoll Rand grease gun, uh, battery powered, whatever, pneumatic. So I've had to change every one of those grease fittings on this trailer so far because it always comes out right at the grease fitting. Let me get everybody straight. Okay, let's see if it works. I don't want to cause that to come out there and have it be the fault of that and not Okay, hold still. Ready? Okay, it's working. Oh, a little bit leaking out right there. Hang on, I'll move you. Sorry. Yeah, a little bit coming out there, but that's not bad. Okay. Now we gotta turn, turn. Okay. Keep this thing straight so that the grease if I can put my there we go takes a while and you want to keep turning that so that the grease doesn't push backwards on the back on the rear seal and push it out because it can push the rear seal out. We want the grease to come forward out here. One handed operation. There we go. And you'll see the grease come out on this hub when it, when it fills that up it'll come out on this hub and that's where i like to see it is just coming out here to where the cap's going to be sorry i can't fast forward this Okay, there, you see that? See those bubbles now? See those bubbles coming out that just look like the grease gun, the Baron? So that's, that's where we want it to be. See that? Okay, so that's where we want it to be. So now, put that down, take this off, leave that grease in there because I don't need it. It can stay there, put the cap on there that's always nice okay so now the hard part is just it's not real hard but just like putting that baron in these are like a pressed fit and they're kind of a bear and you could use a if i had my dead blow i'd like my dead blow better because it's much bigger uh instead of hitting the metal around here and it uh makes like little dings but anyway, you just tap, tap, tap without ruining the cap. And even if you dent it, it's not going to matter, but it's not going to look as pretty. But that's it. Tap it on, 